In my practice, I place a lot of emphasis on creating healing environments for the body to create lasting neurological change. So in order to make lasting neurological change, we need to be speaking directly to the nervous system itself instead of kind of working in the periphery of the muscles and the joints, all right? So again, speaking to the nervous system itself and a way that we do that is through a sensory experience. So using sensory interventions to help talk to the body and talk to the nervous system. The way I do that is through different textured surfaces. So I use things like spiky balls, textured mats, which we'll show in a couple posts, uh, even things like heating pads, vibration, anything to help bring that sensory awareness to the body, specifically placing these textured uh, surfaces on sensory, or, sensory places in the body like the hands and the feet, maybe even in the hips and the back. This sensory stimulation can be implemented during exercises themselves. For example, putting a textured mat underneath the feet during bridging and standing exercises or underneath your hands for quadruped and upper body loaded exercises. However, I do start every one of my uh, sessions with my athletes with some sort of sensory work in the especially in the lower half of the body so I'll take a textured ball and I'll brush it on the bottom of their feet all over their legs I may even take my hands and give some sort of pumping to the tissues to move the fluid around and what this does for the athlete is that brings awareness to those tissues that may otherwise have been neglected in sensory sort of stimulus, all right? What that sensory awareness does for them then is when I ask them to push through their feet or integrate through their legs, they have a better understanding of where that position is in their body. So where the end point of their body is that, that I'm asking them to move through. And then this in turn, it invokes a more full body participation in the exercise. Sensory interventions are also a great way to spontaneously cue the body for the most appropriate response for the environment or the task that it's being asked to do. So for example, if you were to stand on one leg through a stance part of your gait, you may be overwhelmed with the amount of coordination that that requires. So you may have to think about stabilizing through the hips so it doesn't bail out to the side or keeping the hips forward so you don't fall backwards. That's way too much to think about. So if we can cue the body in a different way, maybe through the bottom of the foot to help self-organize what needs to happen in the hip, that's gonna be a more efficient way to cue the body rather than to consciously think about all of those different activation points. I encourage you guys to introduce some sensory interventions either before the work begins or during the exercises themselves. It will help the body better self-organize and you'll have more awareness and better integration for full body participation.